Hello, my name is Abe from Dynamic Ratings and I'm part of the technical support team here at DR. Today I'll be showing you how to connect to and grab files from a DRMCC T3. In order to connect to the T3, you will need a terminal application with the ability to transfer files like HyperTerminal or TerraTerm or an FTP software such as WinSCP. To transfer files serially, you will need to connect using a null modem cable to the console RS-232 port on the T3 CPU located on the far left side of the unit. First, I will show you how to connect using the program TerraTerm. To do this, select the serial port that is connected to the device. In my case, this would be COM7 for port 7. Then press OK. Then navigate to the setup bar on the top portion of TerraTerm and select serial port. And then make sure the settings are as the following. 115200 for the speed, 8 data bits, no parity, 1 stop bit, and no flow control. At this point, you'll be prompted for a login and password, which can be found in the T3 control unit manual. Once you're logged in, you can type the command rwhome to give yourself read-write access. Then you will want to navigate to the correct directory where all the configuration files are. You can do this by typing forward slash home, forward slash drmcc, forward slash etc. Then type ls to show yourself all the configuration files that are in the unit. From there, you want to select where you want to save this on your PC. So go to File, Change Directory, and you navigate to the file on your PC you've designated for saving the files. From there, you can type in the command sz, asterisk, period, asterisk, which will select all the files, and then go to File, Transfer, Z Modem, and Receive. And then it will see a progress bar showing you the progress of the downloaded files. Once this is complete, you'll want to do the same thing for the log folder. You can navigate to that by typing cd space forward slash home forward slash drmcc forward slash log. Again, you can type ls to show you what files are in that folder. And then because you're already in the correct directory, you can just type sz, asterisk, period, asterisk, go file, transfer, z modem, and then receive again. And you'll see again a progress bar that shows you the progress of the downloading log files. Now I'll show you how to connect to the T3 using HyperTerminal. HyperTerminal is very similar to TerraTerm. Once the program is open, you will enter the name T3 and then connect using the COM7 port or whatever COM port you are using and then make sure the settings are as following with the 115200, 8 data bits, no parity, 1 stop bit, no flow control. Uh, you'll then be prompted for a username and password and then again you'll type in cd forward slash home forward slash drmcc forward slash etc and then use ls to show all the files that are in the folder. You can click the receive file area to show where you want to save the files on your PC. And then you can type the command sz asterisk period asterisk and all the configuration files will begin to save to your desktop or wherever you save on your PC. Now you can do the same with the log folder. You can type in the command cd forward slash home forward slash drmcc forward slash log. Then type the command sz asterisk period asterisk. And again, the log files will start downloading to wherever you select it on your PC. And that is how you access the T3 via HyperTerminal. And now I'll show you how to access the T3 using WinSCP. You will need an Ethernet connection to the T3 in order to connect via WinSCP. Uh, in order to do this, you will make sure that your local PC is changed to an IP address similar to that of the T3. So you'll need the T3 IP address beforehand. And then to change your IP address on your computer, you can go to your control panel and select an IP address slightly below. So for example, if the IP address of the unit is 192.168.1.251, you'd select 
1.248 instead and the same sub nut and gateway. Then you can navigate to the WinSCP. Select FTP for file protocol. Um, the port number will always be 21. Then you'll select the host name of the IP address of the T3 along with the T3's username and password. Once you're logged in, you can press the back button and then navigate to the home DRMCC ETC folder. And then navigate to where you want all the files to be located on your PC on the left hand part of the screen. Select all the files using control A and then select the download button above to download all those files. And then you will also want to do the same with the log folder. So again, navigate to the log folder, use control A to select all the files and then select the download button to download all those files to your PC. And that is how you download files from a T3 using an ethernet connection via WinSCP. I'm Abe Stamper, part of the Dynamic Ratings Technical Support Team. For more information regarding our products, be sure to check out more videos on our YouTube channel or check out our new customer portal on dynamicratings.com.